Oh, hey, reality programmers, Denny Van here. How's the new year going? Did you set any goals? Did you set any affirmations? <laughs> I've been talking to so many people and I don't know, the 80-20 rule might apply here because I'll ask people, what are your affirmations for the year? And they'll just roll their eyes and go, those things don't work. You're absolutely right. If they're set up wrong, they won't work. And I was definitely where you were at one time where my mind would tell you, tell me this is bullshit. It's not going to work. So there is a right way and a wrong way to do affirmations or spells or the word, whatever it is you want to call it. What we're doing is we're programming a part of the brain called the reticular activating system. And it does work in a certain way. So I have for you today, 10 ways to unlock the power of affirmations for the new year. Cause we're right here right now, it's 2023 and um, it's 523 in the morning where I'm at in Chicago. And so my focus this year is to go through in my affirmations and my affirmations are working. So I want to share these 10 ways with you. Are you ready to unlock the possibility of affirmations to reprogram your reality? All right. So here we go. Number one, make them specific. So the more specific you are with your affirmations, the more powerful they will be. Let's say, for example, you have an affirmation of, I am successful. This is not specific. And the mind can come up with other ways of being successful at procrastinating. So keeping it vague like that could open doors for possibilities of a result or consequence of your affirmation of something that you didn't want. So the, the, the more specific you can become. So you can change that to, I am landing a high paying job by the end of this first quarter. Okay. So that is very specific, very specific. So think about your affirmations. I am successful. I am healthy. I am wealthy. Well, that's just vague on the surface terms that the mind can do whatever it wants with. But the more specific you are, the more you tell your reticular activating system what to co go out and bring back to you. All right. So number two, use the present tense. So when you're creating your affirmations, I write down affirmations every day in my journal. I have a morning routine and then an evening routine to review my day. So the more I'm in the now, because when I go in the past, I start criticizing, judging, and the more I look into the future, I start feeling anxiety, overwhelmed, right? So when you're in the present tense, Use your affirmation as if it's already true, because the reticular activating system is going to listen to what you're looking for as if it's true. This is how it works. So this is going to help you internalize and believe the affirmation more readily, because again, the mind is going to come in and start telling you otherwise. So this goes along with number three in another way to unlock this powerful potential that you have. Say them out loud. When we say our affirmations out loud, it uses more of our nervous system. So we're not just thinking it, we're saying it, we're hearing it, and we might even be able to read it. So this incorporates much more of your nervous system and takes it down into a deeper level and it makes them so powerful. So number four, you don't just write them down, look at them, say them one time and that's it. <laughs> so this, our body loves routines and patterns. So we want to repeat these affirmations often. So have one for a day or have one for a week and repeat it often because repetition 
is really key when it comes to our affirmations. So the more you repeat them, the more they're going to sink into the subconscious mind and bring this reality to you. So the body, the brain, the subconscious love routines, patterns, and repetition. That's why we like to watch our favorite movie ever over and over and over again. We love repetition. So give the nervous system what it needs to make your affirmations that much more powerful. Then number five, get creative. You know, you can be very creative with affirmations. I'll give you an example. When I was first starting out learning about these, it was winter time and I was going to school for massage therapy. And I thought I'm going to test this out. Let's see. It's it's like, it was like January or something. It's like, I would like to see more dragonflies. And so throughout the day, it would be nice to see some dragonflies. And I would just repeat these things to myself, maybe out loud so I can hear it and maybe look around in my environment. Next thing I know is I'm seeing dragonflies everywhere. I pick up a magazine, there's a dragonfly. I drive by and there's a picture of a dragonfly. I'd be driving and there'd be somebody hanging something in their window as a dragonfly. So the more you can get creative, the more you start to train this part of you that can reprogram your reality. So with number five, getting created, write them down, make a vision board, because sometimes words are not enough because our subconscious mind, the subconscious and the unconscious, both linguistically are visual. So you want to create images and imagery. So vision boards are very powerful. So get creative with that. Let's see. Number Six is be consistent, be consistent. And um, I'm guilty of this too, because I dive in head first with a lot of things. And next thing I know, life gets busy and things are happening that I don't want to be happening. I realize, oh, wow, I haven't been consistent. So consistency is what's going to make these affirmations that much more powerful. And consistency is going to help the mind when it comes in and it'll say, see, told you, these things don't work. So consistency is a powerful tool with anything you're doing, whether it's affirmations or your personal goals, business goals, financial goals, consistency is in all of those. All right. So number seven, use them with visualization. So we talked a little bit about this in being creative and creating like a vision board, so while repeating the affirmations, you visualize yourself already in that state of achieving that affirmation. And again, this is where the mind comes in. And it'll tell you, this is stupid. What are you doing? You're looking like a fool. Why are you wasting your time? This doesn't work. So part of all of these steps is overcoming the mind and believing that you're communicating with the subconscious in telling your reticular activating system what it is you want to bring back to you. The word goes out, comes back fulfilled. This is the cycle that we are creating and training within our nervous system. So use them with visualizations. And some people are like, I'm not visual. Go and find some images. There's tools now where you can create those images and then you look at the image and then you can remember the meaning of the image. That is so much more powerful than just repeating words that don't mean anything to you. So this will train your visualization ability. So again, with visualization, a key point here is to visualize and repeat the affirmations as if. It's as if, or the answered prayer, the prayer received. So you're in a state. So this is a state of being. You're in a state of having already achieved that goal. So, you know, finances, I'm financially set. So imagine yourself balancing your uh, savings or checking account, and you see the balance of the goal that you want in your account. So you're, you're visualizing it with emotion. So that goes along with number eight, with emotion. 
we want to use emotion because remember, emotion, energy in motion. This is what we are. We are energy beings that this meat suit is only a small part of us, if you can believe that. But when we use emotions while repeating this affirmation, we're focusing on positive emotions. So this might change us from, oh gosh, I'm feeling so depressed and things aren't happening in the right way. Oh yeah, my affirmation. Get into that state of emotion. We are multiphasic beings. We can get into different states with practice almost instantly. So you want to practice getting into the emotion while repeating the affirmation, visualizing yourself already done. So I have my own visualization. I have a goal. I'll be finding out about it this month. But in my visualization, I'm completely done with the goal. And I'm in Italy and I'm doing something and I'm just in the most amazing space. So that is a tool that I use to drive me, especially when I feel like oh, this is never going to happen. Things aren't going right. You start spiraling down. So this is a way to stop that spiraling, acknowledge it. Oh my gosh, I'm spiraling down. It's normal. It's common. It's human. Just recognize and become aware it's happening. This is when you can come back to the emotion you want to feed your affirmation to tell your reticular activating system what you want to feel when you get it, when you have it, when it's done. Next, use them with action. So just saying your affirmations alone, this might not be enough for a lot of people to achieve their goals. You know, the mind comes in, emotions come in. So if we use them with action, we're taking action to make them, we're taking the steps forward. So I want to have this amount of money in my bank. Well, how am I going to get that money? Oh, look, I just was offered this contract. So now I'm going to take steps forward in that direction. So I'm taking action. And this goes along the lines of in the Bible where faith without works is dead. This is kind of the same thing. You have this idea of what you want, but you're not doing anything to move forward in that direction. So this is a powerful tool. Take the action. Even if it's a tiny little baby step, I'm working with somebody right now. One of the first things he has to do is go get a license. He has to go pass a test. So now he's taking steps to get that goal done. Once that goal's done, it's going to open up, open up a whole new range of goals so that he can ultimately get to that goal of his own restaurant. So there's certain things that we do within our body to align, to tell that part of our brain. It's a very, very powerful part of us because then we can, number 10, track your progress. So you want to be able to track your progress. And one of the things I do is my morning routine. I set up my goals and the things I want to accomplish that day. And then my evening routine, I check my progress. What got done? What didn't get done? Why didn't it get done? What system did I use? What worked? What didn't work? So this goes along with my affirmation of the year, which is mad scientist focus. So these are the actions I'm taking to stay mad scientist focused. So with these 10 tools, these 10 ways that you can unlock this power, the power of affirmations, the word went out, came back fulfilled, spells. And remember, to use the power of affirmations that requires the consistency, the belief, the emotions, and let it become part of your daily routine. Every day you're, you're saying to yourself, I'll find myself saying my affirmations to a song. And throughout the day, I'm singing that song kind of like a mantra where you're singing your affirmations or saying your affirmations over and over like in a mantra. And this is a beautiful way to keep your mind on track because I'll tell you, 80% of the time, maybe more, it's my thoughts that come that get me off track. And so when I become aware, oh, there goes that thought again, 
affirmation, thank you thought for that, and then come back to my mad scientist focus or my focus, which is my affirmation of the year. So let me know in the comments about your affirmations. What helped you? What do you use on a daily basis to bring you that much closer to your goal? Because we're already into January. I mean, February is going to be here before we know it. And how far are you closer or away from? How far away or how much closer are you to your goal? Follow these 10 steps. And this is where the magic happens. So let me know in the comments what you liked. Let me know what you would like more of. And in the meantime, keep being amazing.